Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to the channel. Now this is the result of yesterday's Sunday night mixed media background. It dried and it curved. Um, I'm totally okay with that though. Hopefully you can see the sparkle, the shimmer that happened when we sprayed on this bad boy, the Distress Spritz in Fossilized Amber. Now, like I said, warped pages don't bother me too much because they will flatten out when I get them in my album. Um, and I have these two photos. This is of one of the barred windows in Alcatraz. And then this is um, kind of like a famous inmates thing that they had. Um, so I'm going to do these two photos. And the vision I had for this, you guys, when this was um, happening yesterday in my head, I was thinking beautiful like mint green, soft pink um, with this yellow and gold. However, today is July 1st and that starts off the board. And this is a series that Crystal Barrett over at Pineapple Papers uh, does on a regular basis. So I am playing along um, and this year she has themes. So on Monday it's a mood board. So my... I'm kind of cheating and I went to my Pinterest because you know we're using pens off our board and I I use color combinations um, and this color combination is on my Pinterest board and it is these yellows but it's got dark grays and blues like the navy blue the different shades of um, gray and the yellow colors and I'm like why do, and the white, I'm totally using this as a white. I know that they're using this to separate the colors, but to me, like that is just gorgeous, right? Those colors. So I changed, I changed my mind. I changed my vision, I guess I should say, um, because of this um, color combo. So I've got this, I've got my never ending kit, got some photos. So let's see what I can do. Right, guys so I am starting out with this pattern paper and this is one that isn't you know the easiest to use all the time so I'm just going to cut the color off that I want to use and I am going to mat my photos down on there so I have my photos cut down I have the window photo I left as a four by six and the inmates photo I cut down to a four by four um, because four by four was all that I needed to show the photos of the inmates everything else was just wall so I'm going to go ahead and really do a thin, thin white border around these photos. And I'm totally pulling that off of my color combo. Just really like that, um, that look, I guess, with the, with the thin white border. I'm going to place it over top of that blue and gray uh, bit right here. Um, and that is definitely pulling straight uh, from that color scheme that I got going on. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down and that camouflages uh, where I pulled apart that um, paper, that collage paper. I thought I was going to use that little yellowish uh, scrap of basic gray paper. However, it doesn't really scream the colors that are in my color combo slash mood board slash whatever you want to call it. So I am going to get into the dark grays and all of that. I don't think I end up with much blue except for that, um, that border around both of the photos. And I am okay with that. I definitely pulled from that color combo and I like the results of this page. It is a pretty flat page, uh, which is fine. Uh, not all of my pages need to be humpy and lumpy and bumpy. Um, this is definitely, it's funny because I think back when um, I first started scrapbooking and I was a very flat scrapbooker and everything uh, needed to be flat. Everything needed to be archival. Um, you know, I was in it, I was preserving my memories forever uh, type of thing. And how, how far we've come, you guys, how far have we come? <laughs> um, and when I say we, I mean me, because I have definitely uh, grown and changed in my scrapbooking style. Um, 
But every once in a while when I do a flat page, it takes me back to my uh, Creative Memories consultant days back in the heyday of CM when CM was everywhere. Like I had, um, you know, I went to conventions, I went to things, um, I hosted workshops with other consultants. Um, I had a magnet on my car uh, for being a, a creative memories consultant. Um, it was back in those days, right? And I was in the heyday and I started discovering the other things, right? Like I was like, oh, the other things. Um, and then, you know, I kind of outgrew that. Um, I was still a big fan of the tools and of the albums. Um, still a fan of the albums. I still think they're great. I just find that I would rather spend less money on the albums, um, especially with the way I started scrapbooking kind of prolifically, uh, you guys. Um, back then in the Creative Memories days, it was like four years would fit in one scrapbook album, and now it's like nine albums for one year. Um, so to me, it's just not worth it to spend um, that amount of money on albums if I have to buy nine of them for a year, right? Like it's worth it for me to pick them up when they're on sale at Hobby Lobby or even better when they go clearance. Um, even better, right? So anyway, um, I forgot where I was going with that. I totally got off on a rabbit trail and forgot what my original point was. But anyway, um, I am going to use this sticker. It says here and now and then it's got some sort of sentiment on it that doesn't really go with the page, so I'm going to camouflage that. Um, this is something that I used to do on the regular, was camouflage stickers and die cuts and things. Um, and I used to actually get a kit where it turned into I was camouflaging all the things, and then I realized, why are you getting this kit when instead of making the couple things that don't really work for you work for you um, and then that turned into the norm so I would just I would just offer that challenge slash advice if you are receiving a kit and it is more effort to make it work for you um, than it is to just enjoy the kit then maybe that kit is not for you right like maybe um, maybe the products are fabulous maybe they're a high quality um, but maybe they're just not the right ones for you. And I wholeheartedly believe that, right? Like you should, you should buy the products that you're going to use, um, not because they're trendy um, or not because they're on sale. Um, now, I will tell you, buying products that I am going to use that are on sale or are on clearance or are on the super cheap, ugh, that fills my cup like nobody's business. But what's the sense of getting that super cheap stuff if it's going to sit in your stash and cause you guilt because you're sitting there thinking, oh man, why haven't I, why haven't I used that? It was so cheap. You know, I can't get rid of it. I've got to use it. Or maybe I should give it to someone or no, why would somebody else want this if I haven't used it yet? And like, it turns into a vicious guilt cycle and I'm not here for that anymore. It took me a long time to get that way. Um, and every once in a while, I still go back and still have those thoughts of, oh, I can't get rid of that. I paid money for it. Like, no. Keep the stuff that you like. Keep the stuff that you love. Use the stuff so you can buy more stuff. Um, and that, that philosophy has really helped me uh, over the years. Use it up so I can buy more. Makes me happy, right? Um, because buying the scrapbooking supplies is almost as fun as using the scrapbooking supplies. And that's all... <laughs> Or almost as fun as organizing the scrapbooking supplies because that is definitely a, a fun thing for me as well. So anyway, um, I was going to use the dark letters on this uh, layout, but I did discover that you couldn't really see them. So I'm going to use these white letters right here, and these are ones uh, that were in the never ending kit and I don't have um, a lot of vowels anymore. So I'm going to take the D and cut that down into an A. I'm going to take an L and make that into a T and I'm going to take a G and make that into an E and then a dollar sign, I wanna make that into the S that I need. So once that is done, 
um, then I will have my title finished, right? And yes, I'm not going to lie. It looks a little funky. The E is not the best. Um, I struggled with it more than usual this time. Um, but I'm not stressing out about it. It's, it totally works. Um, it totally goes for the kind of um, distressed kind of pages that I have going on uh, in this uh, Alcatraz album. Um, and I think I'm going to find that once I get all my Alcatraz uh, layouts together, they're going to have a very similar feel, but there's definitely going to be differences, right? Like to me, this layout has a still a very similar feel to my other Alcatraz uh, photos, but if you place this one and the toilet one side by side or the locks one side by side, totally different, totally different. Um, and that doesn't bug me because it still has that same feel. It still has that uh, same um, emotional, like it evokes the same kind of emotional response in me. So it works for me. I am going to put these hot air balloons on here because I find it kind of hilarious that I'm talking about, well, I'm not talking about because I don't, I don't write it in journaling down. Um, you know, I'm, I'm scrapbooking about some of the famous inmates in Alcatraz and I've got hot air balloons, which are really a symbol of freedom and flying away. Um, so anyway, I find that kind of ironic and hilarious. Um, so they're going on the layout. Now I toyed with the idea of putting a uh, one or both of them up on some fun foam to give them a little bit more lift. I wish you could see my face cause I just made the like lift. Did you get it? Um, but I did not. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a very flat layout. Now, I did bring in some gray sparkle um, enamel dots here, and I used that entire sheet up. So that is finished from the Never Ending Kit, which is always a plus. And then that is going to do it for this layout, you guys. If I don't have the problems that I did with the 30 Days of Sketches playlist, this will be in the playlist down below. So go ahead and check that out. Go check out my friend Crystal over at Pineapple Papers who created this series. Check out everyone that is playing along. Um, and why don't you join us and use some of that inspiration that you have. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I will see you guys again real soon for another video.